Well, what's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. I went to the doctor the other day, and uh, I was talking to him, and he said, look, uh, Jim Bob, he says, uh, you need to have a brain scan done, one of my MRI things, and uh, a CAT scan or something like that. And he said, uh, I said, no, man, I don't want to have one of them things. I don't want the one that looks look at my brain. What do, you, what, do you, what do they do? And he said, well, well it kind of takes a picture of your brain, and um, and it tells us a whole lot of stuff about you. And uh, and so uh, it kind of slices it in little uh, shapes, and then we can look and tell all kind of things and help you out. I don't want to get in and get my brain sliced up like that. I'm, hell no, I ain't going to do it. And he talked to me a little bit more, explained a little more. Then I understood what he's talking about. He just sliced the pictures and up, not brain and stuff like that. So uh, I said, okay, uh, I'll do it on one condition. Um, if, if you're going to do me a brain scan, you're going to have to explain it to me when you explain everything to me with the pictures and all that stuff when it comes out. He said, well, sure, I'll do that. And as soon as it gets done, I'll come out in there and explain it to you. I said, okay. So I went on up there to the hospital and uh, got an appointment and went up there and uh, they uh, took you into this room and uh, there was a long hollowed out like a pipe sort of thing, hole, and they put you in there and there uh, ain't no room in it or nothing. I mean, it's really tight and they roll you, somehow roll you back up in that pipe and uh, started said, now just lay still, don't be wiggling around or nothing like that. And I said, I can't wiggle around, there ain't no damn room in here to wiggle anyhow. And they said, I thought, just calm down now, Jim Bob, everything's gonna be all right. And I said, all right, then uh, uh, maybe I'll give me a sedative or something or like that. And I said, no, but we're gonna give you these here uh, earplugs. Earplugs? What the hell, are you gonna shoot me or something? Or they give me these earplugs. I said, no, we're not gonna hurt you. I said, okay, just use relax. Everything's gonna be all right. It's a pretty little nurse. So oh, she's a cute little thing. Anyway, so uh, I hung out in there and they rolled me back up in the tube. And I had my ear earplugs in there and everything. And, oh God, that thing started to running. And it made the loudest noise. You sounded like a dead gum washing machine uh, tearing up or something there. Go bam, go bam, go bam. A good thing I had them hair plugs in there. And, and kept me in there for a long time running in there and then I shot some stuff up in my arm and stuff like that. Said I could die if I eat, if I couldn't eat uh, seafood or something like that, shell food. So I don't know some damn thing about saltwater food. And so anyhow, on and on it went and then it got it all done. So, all right, now I'll get on out of there and I go over there to the doctor and see him. I said, now, all right, show me what you've done now. And he said, okay, and he said, look at this picture right here. He said, you see how the colors are in there, the different colors and stuff like that? He says, the brain is kind of like a filing cabinet, a bunch of filing cabinets up there. And uh, stuff is stored in there, you know, in, uh, up in your brain. And he said, the different colors indicate, you know, the intensity of this and that and the other. And so I said, oh, that's interesting. I said, uh, well, look over there and that uh, one is all bright, big, bright colored over there. What's that all about? He said, well, we'll talk about that one later. Well, he said, now you look over here on this side, this color right here. He said, now this is pretty, pretty good. He said, uh, I had the, uh, the fortunate when I was in med school, he said, I got to look at Einstein's brain. This is the intelligent part of the brain. He said, <clears throat> yours is just as big as his, if not bigger. So, I mean, that's, that's a good thing. I said, well, intelligence ain't no good unless you do something good with it. I mean, he said, look at the White House, who's in Washington, D.C. now. Them people's intelligent up there, but they ain't doing nothing with it. But anyhow, I don't argue with you. I probably am as smart as Einstein. And uh, he says, yeah, he said, that looks pretty good. And he said, uh, he said, over here, you know, he said, this is your childhood memory and stuff like that. And he said, I said, well, them file cameras ain't too big. Well, that's because I was little, I reckon. And so, uh, anyhow, uh, he said, uh, then uh, we'll get back over here now to this, uh, this big old glowing part over here. He said, uh, this here uh, is interesting. He said, I don't think I've ever seen one this big before. He says, it's kind of damn run wore out pretty much, too. The filing cameras are falling apart and everything else in there. I said, well, what's in there? He says, oh, well, that's your uh, sexual stimulation in, in the department. I said, oh, well, hell, that's just, uh, that's been broke for years now. 
I said, that's probably back when I was a 20 or 30 or something other like that. It probably was pretty active over there, and that's how the filing cabinets got torn. I was pretty wild back then, you know. He said, yeah, he said, that's probably what it was. I don't know. He said, yeah. You know, and uh, he said, there's a lot of activity over in there still, even though you was pretty old now. I said, yeah, there's a lot of activity, but there ain't no action. Ha, <laughs> ha, anyway. Uh, so that's what the doctor told me when I went over there to get my brain scan done. And uh, so uh, I hope you enjoy my little video, and uh, Jim Bob's out.